Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Let's see what's coming up for you when it comes to love. We already have unfinished business that came out <laughs> before it's time. So what do we have for Leo? We have travel, healing, liquor, courage. Some of you are focusing on healing. You may be taking a vacation. It could be to do with healing or you just take a vacation and end up having this vibe of what she's doing. I just feel that. I don't know why. It's not just because it's on the picture, but I feel like you'll have a moment if you do travel, even if you don't leave your country, like even if you just take a break from work or anything stressful, I see you having a moment for yourself, okay? Um, but there is someone who feels like they have unfinished business with you. It seems like this person may call you or text you when they are drunk or drinking. So let's see. What do we have for Leo? Good news on the horizon. Social media. Divine feminine. Alpha female. So, male or female, I'm seeing you being very self-focused. There is a lot of focus on self at the moment because I feel like some of you may be single or considering to be single. With social media, someone could be watching you or you could be watching someone on social media. But there is some good news on the horizon for you when it comes to your love situation. So let's see what's going on here. I see that your person, they seem to be very guarded. I see that they could be watching you on social media with the two of wands. There is this feeling of just kind of glimpsing you or just checking. I feel like this person is trying to make some type of decision. They're trying to choose a path. But there's this feeling of them trying to see where you're at because they, they still have feelings here, but they're being guarded at the same time. You are also very similar. Some of you want the truth or you're holding back the truth. Okay, I see that you may be only giving this person breadcrumbs or some only some of your attention or, you know, maybe responding to them slightly. This could be in the near future. This could be happening already, but... Mutual energy here. There's going to be communication, but I'm seeing that both of you feel rejected in a sense. Both of you feel rejected in different ways, slightly different ways. Um, I see this person reaching out with these pages. There's, there's, there's some kind of effort to talk or to deliver a message to you. They may try to start a new beginning with you, but I do feel like if you do reject them, they will kind of move on with their life, with the world being here. They will move on if they feel, if they continue to feel rejected. Near future. Yeah, that's, I see, I see this person kind of stepping up standing up for themselves, if they feel rejected by you, if they feel like they've been trying and trying and they've been rejected, they may kind of just pull the plug here and start loving their self just like you have been focusing on yourself. They may start to mirror your behavior <clears throat> because I feel like this person, they may be extending a hand but they still have a lot of pride. They still have a lot of pride here. Let me see what we got. Okay, so yeah, both of you kind of have this vibe of being closed off at the moment. There's this awkward silence or there's this 
loud silence, I should say, where both of you know what's going on, but nobody's saying much. No one's saying much, and there's a feeling of mutual, there's a mutual feeling of rejection. So, let me look at your main spread and see what's going on. Leo, what's going on? What's going on with Leo when it comes to love? This person has the idea that this relationship could work. They are feeling shut out by you. They're feeling shut out. A lot of you, this person is, is wondering if this is worth waiting for. They're wondering if this is worth waiting for. They, this person doesn't want to wait too long. They don't want to sit around waiting. They want to get back to the way things were in the past. They have a lot of good memories floating through their mind about you and how things were. They want to get back to that, but I feel like this person, they feel like there's no movement. There's a standstill. They're feeling this soulmate connection with you, but nothing's happening. And they may just get fed up because their next move is the King of Swords. And this was their energy. So it's like they they may decide to really think with their head and not their heart and start to make their way away from this connection because they feel like it's it's not going anywhere. There's no movement and they're just like their life is just passing them by here. We have the Ace of Wands, position of what you need to know. So this person is really trying to extend a hand, or they will be. <clears throat> but like I said, they will give up. I feel like I had this message before for you, Leo. Where this person, they will give up if they feel like it's not working. They're going to become very defensive, very protective of themselves. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Can I find the Seven of Pentacles? This person may also be a fire sign for some of you. They could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person, they're, they're, they're looking at the fact... I mean, okay, we've got the Two of Cups again. They're looking at the fact that... They can move on, like they can find someone else. This person sees themselves as attractive, as, you know, being able to move on. I feel like the only thing holding them to this is the connection you guys had. Um, this is not someone who feels like they can't move on or can't find someone else. They're just going off of this Two of Cups energy. They're trying to give this a chance and they're being patient, but I do feel like... They will kind of give up. Why the Four of Swords? Yeah, they will. This person is not someone who's going to lay down and just watch their life pass them by. Like I said, they like to create wealth. They like to create, they like to um, be stable. They like to see growth in their life. If there's an area of their life that isn't growing, they're not going to spend too much time there is what I'm seeing. It could be a Libra for some of you or, or a Capricorn. Why the Ace of Swords? Yeah, there's a, there's attraction there. It's like they want growth in this area with you, but it's just not happening. Yet, or if ever. Why the Six of Cups? Yeah, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing uh, make like it was, 
and I heard Mariah Carey's voice singing it in my freaking back of my mind. Um, it's a song called Love Story by Mariah Carey, which she says you can make it like it was. I only heard that part in my head just now. And it's because of this six of um, cups. We've got these two aces. This person really wants, I mean, we've got the ace of pentacles, ace of cups, ace of wands, and ace of swords. We have all four aces. This person wants to start over. They are, they are wanting this based on the memories that they're having, the daydreams that they're having. You know, but like I said, as much as bad as they want this, they're still willing to give up on it. I'm hearing only a matter of time. This person values their time. They value the connection, but they value their time. So they're torn between those two, but eventually, Time will become important to this person. Why the Seven of Wands? Yeah, they feel like they're constantly shut out. They constantly feel like, feel stuck by this feeling, feeling like they are stuck. This is someone who's really in their head about this and they will eventually start to think more logically than with their hearts like they're gonna start to feel like they're they're stuck and that they have to get unstuck why the king of swords yeah this person may get counseling for themselves or they may ask friends for advice to help them to think more logically and make a logical decision. Um, this person is still kind of in the unknown. And their feelings are running deep. They could be a Pisces for some of you or a Taurus. But this person is not going to be hanging around much longer. Why the Page of Swords? Yeah, they may, this person may start to offer their love to someone else. Knight of Cups, I'm seeing that because of that feeling of rejection, because of this Five of Pentacles, they may just seek love somewhere else. Is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing them giving you offers and giving you offers, but when nothing comes of it, they start to think more logically. What are the messages for Leo? We have drama, passion, romance, soulmate recognition. So there may have been a lot of drama causing this relationship to end or causing issues in the relationship and it may be very passionate. And this person is feeling, this person is reminiscing on the passion, on the romance and feeling like, okay, this is a strong connection. It's, it's something that they want to go for, but the thing is doubtful. They have absolutely, this person really believes it can work, but what they're getting from you is telling them otherwise. <laughs> so they start to take their, their own life into consideration, their future, you know, their, their, their self, they start to take themselves more seriously after putting themselves out there and feeling rejected. Let's see. We have deception, someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship with codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek and make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you guided to take. So Leo, if you are playing hard to get there's your message because you may be wearing a mask, you may be trying to make this person feel like you're not interested, or it could be vice versa. Someone's pretending to be uninterested in this relationship and kind of playing on someone's codependency or feeling like feeling needed by this person. We have chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. 
So someone is just enjoying being chased here, but the chasing is not going to last. What's this person's message to Leo? I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. You just would not understand what I'm going through most days. I don't even understand. So I feel like this person is very like confused about their feelings. There's this soulmate recognition. Things may have been chaotic between the two of you, but then they start to have feelings like they start to reminisce on certain things and start to desire a new start with you. But not getting that new start is confusing them, frustrating them, making them feel like maybe a fool and maybe feel like it's time to move on. So, what's blocking is this Two of Cups. This is kind of a wedge in, in this person's life because they're, they're going about their life but they keep thinking about the soulmate connection they feel with you. And not getting much out of it. Not being able to have you. They kind of give up. This could be a Gemini for some of you. Again, we have Capricorn, Libra, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, they're really thinking a lot. Like they, they have this fantasy in their mind of this soulmate connection. Then they try to reach out or they soon try to reach out. And they get shut down and it's like, well, what is this I'm feeling if, if, if I'm just being rejected? But I feel like some of you Leos are purposely like playing hard to get. I know some of you may just be, may have moved on or just not be interested anymore. But some of you are wearing a mask, pretending to not be interested, but that's, it's, it's, it's not going to last. When this person decides to give up, they will decide to give up. And it could be vice versa, but this is what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I really hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on here. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.